It's the dreaded phone call no employee working at KFC wants to receive. The call that could mean they no longer have a job. CVM Live spoke to a former employee who told us that come next week, workers will know if they should return to work. She said based on a meeting with senior managers at her location recently, workers with a habit of turning up late will go first. All those that got right up and no show for work are now worrying, wondering if they're going to get a call. Operators of KFC Restaurants of Jamaica says the company is forced to temporarily lay off workers following what they describe as a significant drop in sales since the coronavirus outbreak. We can no longer retain the number of staff currently on our payroll and unfortunately we will have to do some layoffs. CVM Live spoke to a manager who says the announcement applies to all categories of workers. ROJ also operates Pizza Hut Jamaica. She says they're trying to arrange benefits for those who will be laid off. When we spoke to another worker, she told us that the benefits are usually KFC and Pizza Hut vouchers, which is simply not enough. They also receive health benefits. But not everyone is worried. This KFC employee says she's confident her job is secure. I don't feel the main area, but I do my work good and everything, so I don't feel the main area. But. Meanwhile, Restaurant Associates of Jamaica, which operates Burger King, Popeyes and Little Caesars, says its executives and staff will receive a pay cut. Group CEO Lisa Lake says the last resort is to lay off employees. The economy is relying on large companies to retain staff in order to weather the COVID-19 storm. Minister of Finance Dr. Nigel Clark says the CARE program has received 60,000 applications from those who've lost jobs due to COVID-19. A task force has since been established to restore these jobs. With more people unemployed, the country's productivity falls sharply and gives rise to poverty and hunger.